He's an emotional guy. We saw that after his win, and he, you know, took yeah, to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the fighters for your main event of the evening. Introducing first, making his way to the blue corner, Vincenzo Constantino. Vincenzo, a guy who's been around for a long time, you know, he's got a four and three record, trained in many different schools, been in some serious wars. He's a guy who likes a gritty, dirty fight. And he looked good in his last fight. He did against Ben McHugh. You know, yeah. he, he won via submission. But again, he's not afraid to bang on the feet. He's not afraid to get dirty on the ground. No. You know, he's just a dog. He loves to fight. Yes. Looks like a fighter. You don't get that nose. You know, you to, that's you don't, a you nose. Don't get, that's, you don't get that nose coming out your mama. No. That ain't that's a, that's, acquired. No. <laughs> that's an acquired nostril. That's an acquired nose. How's your? I never really done any uh, any analytics with yours. Yours, yours is good. You ever, right. have a, you ever have a broken in the ring no. or cage? No. No. Thankfully. God put a cinder block on shoulders. His big giant head. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you handicap this title fight? You know, uh, really for me, it's going to be how the fight plays out. If Vince, if Vincenzo can make this an ugly fight, a lot of dirty boxing, a lot of pressure, because there's a linear relationship between intensity and form or technique. So the more, the higher the intensity, the more the technique gets thrown out the window. So I think that's gonna be to his advantage in wearing David down and catching him with something. David Galley, on the other hand, I feel like if he can dictate the, the pace, engage, back off, create distance, make it more of a technical fight, but still combine some pressure with it, that's gonna be his key to victory here. Well, this is our main event tonight. This fight is brought to you by Matthew Tarullo from Soterra Investors, the premier client group, the Esley Group. And if you don't know Matt Tarullo, local native, NFL player, former Syracuse lineman, uh, has transitioned in the professional oh, yeah. investing world. Hell of a guy. Absolutely. Still upset he's not brought us any more of his wife's cookies. They were amazing. <laughs> Some of the best chocolate chip cookies I've ever had. I love it's got to be like a little moist in the middle too. None of that hard stuff, right? It's got to be, it's gotta be moist. Making his way no. to the red corner, David Galley. All right, let's get back to this cookie it's conversation. It's got to be moist. Yeah, it's got to be. Okay, it can't good. Be, can't be dry. Thank you. Okay, because I almost I thought you everything said everything is just better a reminder, moist. Ladies and gentlemen, this championship bout is brought to you by Matt Tarullo, managing partner of Satera Investors, a part of the Esley Group. You're right, Will, but some things are out of our control. They're out of our control. But, well, that, but that if you're good, it's in your control. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there a song? You did it all. I just left you speechless, didn't I? <laughs> That's I just, hard to do. I just don't know what I can say on stimulus. You got to let Chrissy know. I, I left you speechless. <laughs> Anybody who doesn't know who Chrissy is, Brian is a local radio show host with his partner, Chrissy Cavada. Yes. Thank you. We're uh, we're to the morning show on 107.7 GNA, and and normally it's me that makes Chrissy blush. Will's got me doing it tonight, and we still got one more fight left to go. So, this young man entering the cage right now, David Galley. He's two and zero. Oh, yeah. You know, but got a lot more experience than that. He's got some boxing fights. He's got some grappling competitions. You know, I had the opportunity to meet this young man when he was 16 at a gym I was training at. I did some work with him in the gym. You know, he was raw talent at that point. Uh, amazing work ethic, responded really well to coaching. Yep. Um, you know, I always felt he needed some structure around him and some systems. And being with Brian Bury, jiu-jitsu, he's got that. He actually lives in Brian's building. Oh, wow. In the same building as the gym. So lives so in the gym. he's immersed in it, you know. Wow. And, and having these guys and girls around him has really helped yeah. elevate him. You know, for some of the at – we'll kick it Once up to Once again, good evening, fight fans, and welcome to the Rivers Casino and Resort, New York's premier gaming destination – and we want to welcome to all of those watching around the world on Stimulus.com. This is our main event of the evening. Three three-minute rounds for the Cage Wars Bantamweight Championship. This championship fight is brought to you by Cage Wars MMA and Stricker Mule. This championship fight is also presented by Jules Design Studio, Bricklayers, local number two, local allied craft workers, 
UA Local number seven, Plumbers and Steam Fitters. Local Laborers number 157 in Schenectady. RDX Sports, the official club supplier of Cage Wars MMA. The Aqua Training Bag. Train longer, train harder with the Aqua Training Bag. And use promo code CAGEWARS10 for 10% off your next purchase. We also want to thank Northeastern Fine Jewelry, as well as our friends from Two Strain CBD, located right outside the event center in the lobby. Tonight's championship fight is sanctioned by the United States Muay Thai Association. Executive Director Ed Kinner is in attendance. The judges at Cade side for this championship bout are Mr. Chris Polinski, Rob Exisa, and John Bernard. The fight doctor at Cade side, Dr. Michael Sheridan. And now, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, for the Cage Wars Bantamweight Championship, let's do this! Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in yesterday at 135 pounds. Representing Clever Combat, Hitter Boxing, and Kirby Wrestling out of Albany, New York, Vincenzo Constantino! His opponent across cage, fighting out of the red corner. He also weighed in yesterday at 135 pounds. Representing Brian Bury, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu out of Waterfleet, New York, Dirty Dave, David Galley. Big Dale and Mergliata will give some fight instructions before we get to go here in our title fight. For the vacant 135. And the man in of our main event of the evening is Dan Mergliata. You know, Vincenzo Constantino, a teammate of El Shaddai Van Hoosen out of Clever Combat, Kirby Cave. You know, he's going to be very well prepared. David Galley, this is going to be a very high level, but dirty boxing, dirty fight. Just gritty. I'm ready. Main event is on for the 135 pound Cage Wars title. I mean, come on, Dave's got a mullet. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like home Dirty Dave. <laughs> I love Dirty Dave. Constantino and Galley. Here we go. Three three-minute rounds. You know, Dave definitely more comfortable using the feet. Vincenzo going to look to close that distance, use those hands. He's very heavy-handed. Yep. Constantino. You see him trying to co trying to, to uh, counter that kick, trying to time it. Constantino with the gray trunks, Galley with the red. So Dave's got to be careful throwing that naked kick, if you will, without a punch or without a feint. Mm. Right now, Vincenzo's doing a nice job just kind of seeing what David has to offer and kind of computing what he sees. And as a guy who loves to kick, listen, I love that, but you cannot let your opponent time it because it can end very badly for you. We've seen that. And you see Vincenzo starting to close the distance now. Dave better be careful <coughs> keeping that head on center line because Vincenzo's got a heavy right hand. Both fighters just kind of calculating right now, computing, downloading information about their opponent. Dave doing a good job using some feints now. And, I, and, you know, as we talked about, like, before the fight, I said David needs to make this a technical fight, and that's exactly what this is right now. Halfway through round one of three for the 135 pound title. See again, that right hand. There Vincenzo, you, you gotta be careful. He's a very strong, very tough guy. Yep, he's shaking his head no, like no. Nope. And listen, whenever you shake your head, it hurts. Good takedown defense by Vincenzo. Excellent work. Dave digging deep, trying to pick that right ankle. Can he turn the corner? Vincenzo doing a good job. Wow. Good balance. Nice job. Dave wants to turn him. Good job by Vincenzo getting back to the knees. Dave trying to deliver some punishment. But some good dirty work here. Absolutely. By Dave. And I think after Dave tasted the power in the right hand, he wanted to take it down for a little while. Constantino, Constantino seems strong. He seems like a strong He's strong, pounds. compact. Yes. You know, and again, he's working with the Kirby Cave, clever combat. He's got good wrestling, good wrestling defense. 
You know, he's doing an excellent job defending right now, and David is expending a lot of energy attempting this takedown. He is strong. Unable to really Im improve on his position. About 15 seconds left to go in round one. Difficult round to score. I think Constantino probably with a flourish. Vincenzo doing a good job posting, you know, fighting the head, fighting the hands. David's sucking him in right now in front of us, but less than 10 seconds to go. Vincenzo pushing on the head. Good job by both these young guys. As you said, very good high level. Both athlete, athletes strong and very fast, sort of able, able to neutralize one another. Uh, slight edge to, I would say, to Vincenzo Constantino just because he landed a couple of strikes in round one. I, I think that's a toss-up, really, mm -hmm. depending upon what, what the judges saw because David kind of controlled the center of the cage. He landed more kicks. I think he's got the edge in significant strikes. I mean, I think the, the punch that Vincenzo landed was the hardest strike so far. But in totality, I mean, I, I would say the significant strikes are to Dave's advantage at this point. But again, how tired is he after attempting that takedown for a solid 30 seconds? About to begin round number two of three here for the 135 pound title, Cage Wars. Cage Wars 57, live on stimulus.com. Thank you all for watching. Big Dan Mergliata, ready to get the fighters back into the cage. Round number two. Here we go, Big Dan, starting the action. You know, David's gotta be careful relying on that right leg and right hand. He should be utilizing that jab a little bit more, fainting that jab, because Vincenzo's definitely looking to time him. Vincenzo is just a tough guy. Pulling the jab out there, making David respect the distance a little bit. Yeah, it's true. You're right about Vincenzo. Constantino, he just, he, everything he does, he does it with like bad intentions. Yes. It's just the way he wears it on his face. And again, he's doing a nice job here, pushing on the head, fighting the hands. David had yet, has yet to, to necessarily take him down and hold him in a position. I'm not sure that this is the most advantageous position for Galley to be in right now. Do you agree I with me? I would agree. I mean, he's only do all he's doing is what you said. He's just expending more energy, and I would agree. Oh, and he oh. just turned oh. his ankle. Oh, he might have. Oh, that might he, be it. Did he break it? No, 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 no. What did he do? Did he turn it? Yeah. Fight's well, over. Yeah, the fight's got to be over. Looked like he might have rolled his oh, ankle. That is just if not broken. Fortunate. That is just Mike, unfortunate. Mike Favo was sitting beside me. He said he uh, heard it pop. Oh, uh, uh, we don't like to see that. You know, the fight was just getting started. That is really unfortunate. Feel terrible for David Galley. Oh, you could see it's swelling right up. At least the doc's not making him get to his feet this time. Oh, and he tried to stand, too. What da heart. Dave's a tough kid, Son man. Son of a gun. That stinks. Dave is a tough kid. And this is extremely unfortunate. I'm not sure if we go to the I'm not sure what do you go to the judges scorecard after uh, I'm not sure how this is determined now. Uh it's a, it's a referee stoppage. So it's a referee stoppage. Vincenzo won. Right, it's right he can't continue. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right, it was it was a per, it was a legal strike. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I apologize for that. I sound like a moron right there. Yeah, yes, no, obviously. He, he, yeah. You know, and that happens. Yeah, it's I over. Mean, I remember way back in the day, 15 years ago or so, we were training and we were what? doing a we were doing a step. Oh, we got the. Okay, let's see a replay here. Thank you guys. We just. Are we able to? Yep. All right. Let's see if we can see exactly what happened here. I don't think it had to do with any kind of a strike. No, right? he it was, was just he sort just of collecting stepped. himself. Yeah. Boy, that is anticlimactic. And really tough for David Galley. God, you don't like to see that. He should be sitting down on the stool right now. And it may just be a bad sprain. But again, you know, it's tough to come back from that in the middle of a fight. Uh, we're trying to see if we can get it. Thank you to the guys back in the. Okay.
Well, congratulations to Vincenzo Constantino. I don't think that's the way he wanted to win. Let's but see. Oh, a okay. So, yeah, he was just collecting himself and... He steps back. And he just slipped. But Big Dan, Dan was kind of is in the way. Dan Mergliata's called a stop to the fight. One minute, 19 seconds into round number two for your winner by way of TKO and new Cage Wars Bantamweight Champion, Vincenzo Constantino. I have no doubt we're gonna see David Galley back in here. Congratulations, Vincenzo. As I said, super tough guy. Yep.